Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're taking a look at Windows 10 Technical Preview Build 9926, which was released on January 25th of 2015. Just to put that into context, we're about six months before the final release of Windows 10. So, I think it's really interesting to take a look at beta builds of Windows, especially Windows 10. It has a very interesting development history, so let's take a look. The first thing we have to do is actually boot into the BIOS and change the date because every beta build has a time bomb on it and if that time bomb is enabled then we won't be able to boot or install the operating system. So we're going to go ahead and disable the network adapter and set the system date to January 25th of 2015 and then go ahead and save that and then boot into the installer ISO. And here we are inside of the installer. Again, this looks like the typical Windows installer, except it said evaluation copy down there. The also, the only other difference will be, of course, we get the pre-release terms and conditions instead of the actual terms and conditions for Windows. Like I said, pre-release OS terms. We can go ahead and agree, custom, select our partition, and let Windows install. All right, and here we are inside of the install, or not the installation screen, the out of box experience. So we're going to go ahead and use Express Settings, and because we are not using the internet, because if we had the internet, it would activate the time bomb. We're just going to create a local account. It's not going to ask us for a Microsoft account or anything because it can't connect to the servers. And now we're just going to go ahead and log in. So this is pretty much like the standard experience that you would get with Windows 10, even out of box. Um, it does still change colors, like Windows 8.1 though. It's not just a solid blue, which I actually like this better than the standard Windows 10 get ready screen. And here we are. So the first thing we're going to do is actually install VMware tools, but we're not going to restart the machine. In my testing, if we restart the machine, it activates the time bomb for some reason. So we're just installing VMware tools so we can fix the resolution, but we are not restarting. Why this happens, I have no clue, but for some reason it does. And like I said, we are not going to restart. Now that our resolution is fixed, we can take a look at what we have here. So the first thing you'll notice is that this looks like Windows 10 and Windows 8, some weird in-between variant. Over on the right side of the taskbar, we have our standard tray applications, as well as all of our like volume adjusters and settings. But on the left side, we have this weird merged mess. We have our start button, which is ripped directly out of Windows 8. We have our search bar, which is from Windows 10, task view from Windows 10, and our standard applications. So let's look at the start menu, since the start menu was the biggest renewal of Windows 10. And here we can see that this looks pretty interesting. So here we have the left side, which is our apps, um, recently added, most used, which is very similar to how, what we see in the current version of Windows 10, and of course our live tiles, which is also in Windows 10. The options that have changed are of course the full screen button, which gives you this weird looking full screen Windows 8, 10 thing, but it doesn't get rid of the taskbar. And the power options are at the top instead of down here. Places also is something that I don't believe made it to any version of Windows 10. It was mostly just most used in all apps. But places is like your file explorer document settings, and I believe you could customize this. Then in the taskbar, we have the search bar, which is basically just Cortana. Um, I don't actually know if... Okay, so yeah, it does work, but it is a little bit slow. Task view, which allows us to add desktops, but no names. This was something very big with Windows 10. Windows 8 did not have this. Then, of course, we have our Internet Explorer, because Microsoft Edge did not exist. And if I remember correctly, Microsoft Edge was known as Project Spartan at the time. I uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. And I don't believe that it was default enabled in this build. I don't even know if it existed. The File Explorer does look very different in terms of icons. We can see these icons, I don't know if I like them. They look a little bit older, but they they still are interesting. I don't know, I feel like they just look really weird. In terms of how the File Explorer actually functions, it's the exact same. Of course, the icons in the ribbon are still Windows 7 icons, or Windows 8.1 as well. Um, again, icons for this PC are very different. Network, all of these icons are different. The Windows 10 icons have actually went through a lot of transformation over time. Many people don't realize it, but they've changed a lot. I'm um, just taking a look at the general window style, 
We do have weird X buttons. They're kind of smushed up at the top. They're not centered within the top bar. And close, closing animations stay the same, but opening animation, things kind of fly in like that. If you saw that, I'll demonstrate again. They just fly in. I really like this. I wish this was kept or at least an option, but apparently Microsoft didn't think that that was something valid to keep. Over on the right side of our taskbar, like I said, we do have all of our notification settings, um, volume, network. Um, for some reason, I can't open the notification pane, even though I had it working earlier. And I, I do see why notifications aren't working. You see down here, the time is set to 4.322. So I would be surprised if basically anything worked. Yep. Okay, so somehow, even though internet is off and the bio state was set, installing VMR tools changed our date. So, um, the time bomb has been activated, and we can't open anything. We can't open the notification pane, nothing. That's great. So basically, the notification pane looks like a very beta version of what's currently in Windows 10. It's, I was actually surprised to see it like that. I thought it would be very different, but it really wasn't. Um, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna try our best to get through this video without, you know, with what we have. Um, I really wanna show the Metro UI interface, or actually, yeah, we can still preview it in store. So from the first build of Windows 10, which was 9841, we had all those application settings at the top, like the three dots, the full screen button, that kind of stuff. As Windows 10 progressed over time, they got rid of those options because they simply didn't need them, which those options would have been found in the charms bar of Windows 8, which by the way, does not appear to exist. Okay. The charms bar does not exist in this build. I know it went away and came back and went away and came back. So this is just like your standard Windows 10 windowed UWP app. There's nothing special about it. This is when Microsoft finally decided that, hey, we should window these apps. Um, because of the time bomb activation, a lot of these apps probably aren't going to work. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, but it did. <laughs> Um, no clue how. I'm going to open Winver just to see what it says, and that is weird. Seeing search pop up on top of start is really weird because usually it switches from, ser from start to search. Um, obviously, search is not integrated with the start menu. It's like its own separate thing. Um, okay, so this just identifies itself as Windows, even though it says version 10 and 10 right there. Um, yeah, this was still that weird phase where it was like Windows Technical Preview, but also Windows 10. It, it was weird. This it does resemble the very first version of settings in Windows 10 and the Server 2016 settings. Who came up with this idea is beyond me. This settings looks horrible. Even the Windows 10 settings today look horrible. Windows 11 had a huge improvement on settings. But uh, yeah, this was a very horrible idea, this settings app. But uh, yeah, it's going to just keep crashing randomly because of that time bomb. Settings didn't change that much. I mean, most of this operating system, I would say, is completed. Most of the Windows 10 build 10.240 features are here. I mean, not features, but UI changes, like the new start menu. They just needed polished off. Because ultimately, when you compare 10.240 to what this build is, a lot of, the, like I said, the UI changes are there. They just need polished off. They need a few rounded edges. That's it. And we Microsoft was there. I am actually curious though, what does the lock screen look like? So yeah, it resembles the Windows 8 lock screen with the icons down here. It even does show the battery percentage for some reason, even though this is a desktop. Um, and yeah, that was the Windows 8 lock screen. So the lock screen hadn't been touched yet. But wow, this is, yeah, this is interesting. I really do like looking at older versions of Windows just to see how we progressed. And I am a little bit disappointed because the Windows 11 development history from build the leaked build 21996 to the final build didn't really change that much. The leaked build to the final build that there was really no change. So there wasn't there there's not really a lot to take a look at there. 
with that being said definitely let me know what you think of this build of windows um how did it really shape the future of windows i'm interested to hear your opinions down below and thank you for watching this video if you liked it make sure you subscribe if you're new around here as i do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations with that being said i'll see you all in the next one